This is Cranky J here for Pirate Satellite TV, and today I'm here with Keith Applin, writer director of the new movie The Corners. Hey, Keith, how you doing? I'm doing really good, thanks. You, I heard you got married. How's uh, married life treating you? It's different. It's definitely different. You know, it's uh, kind of hard to get used to saying my wife as opposed to my girlfriend, because that's what I've been saying for years. We've been together for a pretty long time. Uh, look at Tammy over there. She's looking at Keith like a child looks at a puppy in a window. Hey, uh, let's talk a little bit about your new movie, The Corners. How does one guy make a movie on 300 bucks? Is that some sort of a record for shooting a movie on $300? Smallest amount of money I've ever seen being spent on a film that got some kind of a distribution deal was about $3,000. I think that was for the puffy chair. I guess the most famous independent film that was shot cheaply was El Mariachi. I know the director, Robert Rodriguez, said that he spent about $6,000 on, on that movie, but about 5000 of it was on film stock, and then the rest of it was, was spent on, on uh, you know, little things here and there. Do we have a trailer? We do. I'm pretty sure we do, yes. Let's go, go, ahead and roll go ahead, roll it. What were you going to tell me earlier? It's nothing, man. Come wait till later. Where's Juan? Who's Juan? This guy's friend. He's my friend, but I, I haven't seen him tonight. I did not miss you. I don't think gangbangers are supposed to miss their sisters. Dude, it's cold and we gotta start the car anyway. Let's go. Is it loaded? No, it's not loaded. How do you know? Because I was target practicing, okay, and I ran out of bullets. I'll put the safety on, just for you. You said the same problem. Same problem? Uh-huh. Really? You know, I'm really glad we met tonight. What are you doing here? In the honor crowd, picking up trash on the highway. Man, you should have gone into the bookie business with me. It's damn profitable, all right? I mean, look at this. I'm gonna need a bigger wallet. I know this. Stay here. But he's an If you do your man. job, he leaves you alone. I told you that, did not. Well, are you talking about me? Play tight and let the dealer box. I'm not, I know, I'm not playing. What the fuck do you want, man? I need a bit. Yeah, we got a funny way of asking me. Back there, I think I saw it. I saw it back there. Give me the money. Let me in first. Give me the money first or no ride. Wow, that was a great trailer. I'm impressed. As a matter of fact, I saw the movie twice already, and I'm waiting to see it one more time. What festivals have you submitted the movie to, and uh, have you received any responses yet? Well, we opened the movie at the Portland Underground Film Festival, and uh, we were the opener of the festival, so that was really exciting. We had a really good turnout. Um, the festivals I'm now uh, uh, waiting to hear back from are the Bend Film Festival, which is in October, Salem, Film Festival also in October, Eugene also in October, the Astoria, which is also in October. So if by chance we got into all of them, then October is going to be a really, really exciting and fun month for us. What inspired you to write this movie? I was going to do a series of short films, and it would, each short film was going to take place, you know, in a different corner of town. I was going to call it The Corners because I wasn't sure if I was ready to do a feature film yet. I only had one short film under my belt. But uh, John Meyer, the director of photography and editor, and Drew Hicks, the casting director and the guy who played Brandon, the lead character, we were sitting around at a bar one night, and I was telling them about it, and uh, they're like, well, what are we going to do with a bunch of short films? Put it all together, and let's do a feature. Oh, excellent. Now, you mentioned John Meyer and Drew Hicks, and I understand that they do a, uh, a comedy, a web series called The Freebox. Now, why did you pick them? 
Well, John is pretty much the fastest and best editor I've ever seen. He's ridiculously quick and he's ridiculously talented. Drew Hicks, uh, I worked with him. I met him uh, when I did my first short film called Winona. And uh, we really got along, you know, we became friends and he's one of my favorite actors, you know, that I've ever worked with. All right, Keith, if I, if I find your iPod, uh, what kind of artist would I find on it? You'll find everything from Jane's Addiction to Bob Dylan to Wu-Tang Clan, uh, see uh, some of my other favorite bands and Nine Inch Nails is maybe my favorite band of all time so you'll just find a plethora of everything I think pretty much anyone who found my iPod would be able to find something that they like now uh, would you agree with me that music is half the movie I yes absolutely I say that music and film just go hand in hand and it's um, you know filmmaking is the most collaborative process I think on the planet it, music really really brings out the emotion in a film and it's extremely important to to bring out what emotion you want. Hey, you have an accent. Oh, I'm an exchange student from Eslabovia. So anyway, Keith, uh, what's, uh, what's next for you? Well, I just finished another feature-length script. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a suspense drama that takes place about an, in the hour and a half before a tragic event, and it takes place in Portland. So it's going to require real money. It's not going to be able to be filmed for um, you know, $300. If people want to know more about the movie, uh, is there a website they can log on to and check out some of the details? Absolutely. Right now, any showings that we have and uh, any information can be found on thecornersfilm.blogspot.com. I'm Cranky J for Pirates Satellite TV, bringing you the lowdown of the indie, no-budget Portland cinema.